Hi everyone, I'm Kathy, the Clumsy Soper. Today, I would like to share with you a new series in my channel on soap quality testing. Let's start with commercial soaps. As you can see, the soaps looks old because I stored it in room temperature with extreme conditions uh, where the first half of the year is humid and dry while the second half is rainy. I've also tested my retention sample soaps, also stored in the same conditions, but I won't be sharing that info here. That will be in another video mainly because um, I wouldn't want to have a very long video that will be too taxing for all of us. Before we start, I'd like to thank you for joining me again this week. If you are new here in my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification icon to keep you posted of my soap making videos, DIY tutorial, and a lot more. Soap making is my passion, so I would really appreciate if you can join me in my soap making journey so we could learn and grow together. So, let's get started! Some soap makers use soil penometer, but for me, I use the fruit sclerometer model GY3. As you can see, this has two fixtures, 11 mm and 8 mm. This is the 8 mm, and it can read 1 to 24 kilogram per cm squared. In the sclerometer, that is the red markings. So let's put the 8 mm fixture now. And let's keep the rest aside. I have Safeguard 90 grams Guava Leaves Fresh variant. The soap is still dry. This is commercially prepared soap. To use the sclerometer is very easy. You just have to push uh, the sclerometer down until you reach the 1cm line. But if the soap is really hard, just like the one that I'm testing now, I really have to take so much effort to push it in. But if we really cannot, Let's try our best and I'll just put the maximum of 24 kg per cm squared for the reading and I'll also note down the um, depth on how much centimeter did we manage to push the sclerometer down. I've already overshoot the maximum reading and I cannot push it in further. It's really uh, hard. So let's stop and note it down. This is Saina soap made in India and I am really impressed with the papaya shape. Mm. 
This is another hard soap. I had a hard time pushing the sclerometer in. But at least, I managed to push it a little bit deeper compared to Safeguard. You may wonder on what are the ingredients that are common between these two soaps that, that produces a hard bar. They both have sodium palmitate and sodium palm carnelate. In handmade soap makers context, sodium palmitate is actually palm oil and sodium palm carnelate is palm kernel oil. Allow me to quickly clean our space because I have plenty of soap filings here. Now let's move to Pears Oil Clear Soap with Lemon Flower Extract. This is a transparent soap and it contains high amounts of sorbitol to make it transparent. For the base, it uses sodium palm carnelate and a combination of sodium palmate and sodium stearate. It also contains high amount of propylene glycol. Let's move to Dub White Beauty Bar. They claim that this contains one fourth moisturizing milk. The main ingredients are stearic acid, sodium palmitate, lauric acid, sodium stearate, sodium palm carnelate. All the soaps that I mentioned here and will mention here contains other ingredients but I am focusing on sharing with you the fatty acid components because I feel that that is more important to us when making our own handmade soaps. Now let's move to Likas Papaya Skin Whitening Herbal Bath Soap for face and body. As you can see, this soap is still hard but it already contains mold. Uh, this is a herbal soap and normally shelf life for herbal soap is shorter compared to uh, traditional soap that doesn't contain any fruit extract. It contains sodium palmate, sodium palm stearate, sodium palm carnelate. It also contains coconut oil. And as you can see, the results is higher than 24 again, mainly because it contains 
ingredients that will make this soap harder we have the palm stirate Now let's move to another organic soap made in the Philippines. This is Bench Organics. The main ingredient is coconut oil and they've added Sidea. And of course we have the uh, fruit extract, papaya extract, aloe vera extract. I don't know about you but I feel that the sound of soapbox opening and packaging is music to my ears. Okay, so let's just wipe this uh, sclerometer and push it into our soap. This is a handmade soap so we can expect that it is softer compared to commercially prepared soap. Next, let's see how hard L'Occitane is. This is made in France. This is the pure vegetable soap and it contains shea butter. The main ingredients are sodium palmate, sodium palm kernelate, sodium cocoate, shea butter, glycerin, palm kernel acid, it also contains Litsea cobeba fruit oil and, and sunflower seed oil. This is another hard soap. As you can see, I had a hard time pushing it in, mainly because it contains plenty of hard oils and it also has shea butter. I've already completed testing 7 soaps and I still have a lot of soaps to test. Here is our question of the week. Do you think that the information that you gathered from the soap hardness that we have done today will be useful to you? Please leave your comments down below. Here is the summary of the results that we've obtained.
Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed what I shared, please leave a like and a comment below. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep you posted of my latest uploads. Until next time, bye-bye and happy birthday to those who are celebrating their birthdays this month. I'm also an April baby. God bless!